Wow. Did you see that? Did you see that? Don't tell me. Don't tell me skill doesn't matter in this game. Don't tell me sonar is useless. It doesn't matter in this game. Hey, this is Battlecrom, and I'm here on Fishing North Atlantic. Now, if you've been having trouble trying to figure out where to place your long lines and your nets, is the habitat system being kind of frustrating you? If you've been listening to some of those rumors going on on Steam about how, well, it doesn't matter where you place your nets and your long lines, it just doesn't matter, and your sonar doesn't matter, none of that matters, you can just throw a net down anywhere you want and you're going to get something, I'm here to tell you right now that it's false. Not only that, I'm going to show you how to use the habitat system. I'm going to explain habitats in a little more detail because the game developers don't give you a lot of information on this. I'm going to show you how to locate your habitats, how to figure out how big they are, and how best to fish them. So stay tuned. Okay, today I'm here in my Arctic Pioneer. Uh, I found the Arctic Pioneer to be uh, a really good vessel for running tests in, and it runs everything you can run well, not everything, but you could run a lot of the important stuff on here. You can run nets, and you can run different size nets. You can run long lines. You can run the longest ones possible, or you can pick out something in the middle. Okay, let's look at our map here. Now, I've unlocked most of the locations of my fishing habitats here. Uh, it's hard at any point in the game to know exactly where all of them are, especially since when seasons change, I mean, things will disappear. Like, right now, you don't see any... Uh, was it silver hake or mackerel because neither one of them are in season right now the crab and lobster are every time i go to port any port it is i always go i mean once you got a little bit of money you can do this i always go to the bar and i just get as much intel as i possibly can because i want to know where all my habitats are at all times i like to keep track of them i gotta tell you from all the testing i've done because there's this rumor that if you just go to an empty place in the ocean that, and you just start throwing down nets and stuff, you're just going to catch some stuff. And, you know, you might even do better than you're going to do in the habitat. I got to tell you, I this has not been my experience. If I go down here, like here, you can see, I know where every habitat in the game is. So let's take my Arctic Pioneer over here. As far as I can tell, I'm not near any habitat. I'm just in a blank, empty spot in the ocean here. So let's pull it up here. Because a lot of people have said sonar is useless, it lies, it doesn't really tell you the truth. Okay, so let's look at the sonar. I should not have anything on sonar here. As far as I can tell in this game, if you're not in a habitat, you're just not seeing fish. And every time I've been in an area where I was pretty darn certain there was no habitat around me anywhere, and I wasn't seeing any fish on my sonar, and I've dropped a net or a deep line, I pulled it up and it was empty. It said low population. So yeah, nothing. Nothing on sonar. I'm telling you, you throw down your nets or your long lines like this, you're not going to catch anything. Now, if you're cruising along in a spot on the ocean, you think you don't think there's anything there and you're seeing stuff on your sonar here, uh, chances are you're just running through a habitat you didn't know. Because as far as I can tell, you get outside of a habitat, you're not going to see any fish. Now, this may have been different in earlier versions in the game, but in the current version of the game, this has been my experience 100%. I just don't see fish outside of habitats, and I can't catch them outside of habitats. You can only see a habitat if it's in season. I don't think it used to be that way in the game. You also, you can't catch something unless it's in season. So you're not going to be able to catch lobster. If lobster is not in season, you're not even going to see it on your sonar. You're not going to be able to see the habitats. It could be somewhere in the ether. Maybe these habitats are still out there. You just can't see them. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really, like right now, I can't see silver hake or mackerel habitats, but I have not noticed any indication of them anywhere. I haven't come across a place where there's fish for some reason. Now, another thing to note here on habitats is... Habitats have more than just the fish you're talking about in there, and nothing represents that better than scallops. Scallops are crazy. Scallops are the best habitat in the game, if you ask me, and thank God there's six of them. If you go to a sea scallop habitat, you're going to see everything in there. Okay, you're going to see, I don't know, you're going to see all kinds of different fish. You're going to see, like right now, everything that's in season, you're going to see. You're going to see some cod in there, you're going to see some redfish in there, some pollock, some haddock, some crabs, some lobster. It's all going to be in there, but there's also going to be scallops in there. Now, scallops don't show up on your sonar, so it's a good thing actually you have all these other fish in there because that'll help you figure out where the boundaries of the habitat are. 
Now the habitats are probably bigger than you realize. This cod one is the perfect habitat to show you this on. What I discovered, and I'm gonna show you how I figured this out, what I discovered is these habitats are actually circular in nature. Okay, they're not, they're not elongated, and they're not particularly small. They're actually a lot bigger than you think. Let's run a path like this. It's moving in the direction of the habitat, more or less. Let's turn on the old autopilot. Set our speed to max. Okay, we're gonna cruise along here a little bit until we see something on the, uh, the radar and try to figure out where the edge of this habitat is. Okay, that icon actually, this fish icon right here actually represents where the center of the icon or the center of the habitat was. So if you get same day information, that's where that habitat, that's the center of that habitat right now. Okay, currently this is six day old information. This habitat's moving fast. It's moving so fast that it might even be way the heck down here. But let's just go ahead and keep on cruising down here for a little bit until we see an indication of it. First indication is basically, since I know there's no other habitats around here, the very first fish that pops up on this sonar, that's gonna be really close to where the edge of the habitat is. I mean, these hab habitats, I, the speed changes. I mean, sometimes it's moving fast. Okay, hold on, right here. Okay, we just seen a fish come up. This may be the edge of our habitat right here. Was that a haddock again now? I hope I'm not overlapping with a haddock habitat here. This is gonna mess everything up. Okay, no, that's cod. Okay, all right. So, let's erase that. Now, I do believe this here is going to be the top edge of our habitat now. So now, what I want to do is I want to find the bottom edge of this habitat. Now, this is what I'm going to do. We're gonna back back up again. We're gonna come back down and we're gonna start laying down some nets. I'm gonna lay down the big nets to 165 meter. The reason I'm gonna do that is because I wanna show you these nets I lay down outside the habitat here aren't going to get anything. If nothing, you know, once you get close to the edge, you might pick up something, but the ones that are up here, they're outside the habitat, they're gonna, you're not gonna get anything. We're just gonna lay down a string of nets right through the middle of this habitat and then when we identify where we think the bottom of the habitat is, we'll mark that. We'll lay a couple more nets past that. Now, all right, hurry up, Isaac. I don't want to get these inside the habitat. I want to be outside. Okay, Isaac has a net ready. Let's drop it. There goes our first net. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, I'm quite certain we're outside the habitat right now. That net will probably go to there, but the first two nets most likely are going to be outside the habitat. Okay, I'm going to start to tighten the nets back up a little bit. I've been spacing them out a little bit here, as you can see. Uh, I don't hear the seagulls anymore. I heard the seagulls up around in this area. I think this is the center. So I'm thinking the edge is going to be down here. We're just going to run our nets back to back and try to figure out exactly, we'll look at our sonar, try to figure out exactly where the edge of the habitat is. And I want to run a couple nets out past that. There we go, 250 meters. I got a feeling the edge of the habitat was right up there, somewhere in the middle of line 12. Let's mark it for now, but the last cod we seen was was probably like right there. We're gonna lay down this line, one more after it. Unless we see another cod, it makes us think we're still in the habitat. So, we've established the north and south border of the habitat, as far as we can tell. Now, you don't have to lay nets down to establish the borders of your habitat, you can just basically just run it with your boat, with your sonar and figure out where they are. And you could like skip ahead of time too. Like when you find the northern edge, you could kind of skip ahead a little bit and then find the southern edge. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. The reason I'm laying down these nets here is because I want to, basically the nets will prove that I'm in or out of the habitat. Like I'm telling you, that's the reason we're doing that. Now that I know where the northern and southern edge of the habitat is, I can basically get eyeball it and get a basic idea where the center of the habitat is, which would be probably right about there. And that's around the place it was in this area is where we we're hearing all the seagulls, remember? So the seagulls really seem to hover right around the center of the habitat. In my previous experiment, I found a habitat to be around two nautical miles long. We're coming at 1.7. Uh, that's pretty close to two. 
So it's possible our edges where we mapped our edges could be off. It could be that uh, this one maybe is a little bit higher up than what we're thinking. Uh, we'll know that for sure. If we pick up line one and we actually get a fish in there, then that, the, the northern edge of the habitat might be up here a little bit higher than what we were thinking. Let's set our autopilot. Make sure we have a net ready to go. We're just going to lay this first net down immediately. We should be outside the habitat right now, unless for some reason we see a fish and we suspect we're inside the habitat. There we go. Boom. Okay, we just got confirmation from sonar. Let's uh, delete that one. And we got confirmation about right there. Put it just above the line. Ooh, they're getting real loud now. We are right on top of basically the center of the habitat. Oh man, look at that. There's a cod right there. You see that? That was a cod. That's crazy. Okay, well, in, in light of seeing that cod now, we're going to lay down another net, possibly even two. That looks pretty darn close. Okay, so I'm predicting the edge of the habitats along the stagnant are going to be roughly right about here. Let's see how close we are. Okay, we just spotted our first cod right there. That's right about there. So it stands right now. Our last cod sighting was kind of in the middle of 41. Like right around there was our last cod sighting. Based off the sonar evidence, I think we're pretty good along here. Although the habitat up this way looks as though it may be a little bit further out. So let's lay down one more cod because it's possible the center. So we may be a little bit off on where the center of the habitat is. It's possible it could be up here. Okay, the, the whole first line is blue right now. We're just starting to go green on the second one. Okay, so let's pull up our first string of uh, nets here and see what happens. Now, this first one is going to be... This one is going to be interesting because I want to see if we get any cod here or not. Because it, it does look like there's possibility that net or line this first net here might have landed within the uh, within the habitat. Okay, there is something in the net one. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we definitely need to revise this here. Our northern border of this habitat. It's definitely got to be up here somewhere. Yeah, for sure. Which means our center is, is going to be over here. I think we've pretty much established that now at this point. Yeah, the center is most likely here. Let's just take that one out. Okay, we're approaching the end of the string here. This is where we determined our habitat in around here. It looks like 12 is probably still going to be within the habitat. It'll be interesting to see what we pull up on this one, if anything. All right, so that string still brought in a pretty decent amount. Or that net, I guess I should say. Okay, we did catch something here in net 12. So let's revise the border. It's possible the border could have moved too since we laid down the nets, but we'll just kind of put it around here. This is... All right, so let's have a look at our logbook here now. We completely pulled the, full, the first string. And let's have a look at how that went. Uh, line one was one that we suspected might actually be inside the habitat once we started revising our borders a little bit, and it did turn out to be inside the habitat. So these ones here were more towards the center of the habitat. I don't really see a correlation here between better catches necessarily being towards the center of the habitat. Now I think it's maybe that partly has to do with the, what habitats are. You got to understand the way, the way the devs have described it is if you see a fish on your sonar, that's not one fish, that's a school of fish. So a habitat is made up of many schools of fish. It's not one giant school of fish. So there's dozens of schools of fish inside a habitat, maybe even exceeding 100. I don't know. There's a lot of schools of fish in there uh, based off of what you see on your sonar. So 
I think once you get inside of the habitat, the fish are just kind of spread out in schools all throughout the habitat. They're not necessarily concentrated anywhere inside the habitat. Also, there is definitely a randomness factor there. So once you get inside of the habitat, let's see, we, right here. This was our first one inside the habitat. Once you get inside of the habitat, I think that uh, the it is sort of a random generated chance of how much fish you're going to get in your net based off, one, are you inside the habitat? Two, uh, what is the health or population of the habitat? I've definitely seen a correlation between that 100%. There is a difference between fish in a habitat that says has a say a low population versus one that has a high population. You will definitely catch more in a habitat with a heavier population. I guarantee this to you. I've seen it in my own gameplay. But beyond that, there is a randomness factor to it. So I think a good way to look at it is an average. So okay, so so far we caught eighty thousand kg, eighty eighty thousand kilos of fish. So we take 80,000, we divide it by 13 nets. Okay, so what we caught as an average per net is a little over 6,000 kgs a net. So 6,153. Yeah, here we can see the breakdown. So as you look at, if you look at each catch here, overwhelmingly cod. This is to be expected. This is a cod habitat. But you can see you do catch some other fish here. Pretty much every net, every net is catching at least some pollock, some redfish, some haddock, but it's also only catching fish that are in a season. Okay, there's no mackerel here, there's no silver hake here. Uh, neither one, neither one of those fish are in season right now. That's just how the game is now. I know early versions of the game supposedly you could catch things out of season. You can't do that now. All right, so let's move on to the next string of nets and see how that one turns out. All right, low population, nothing caught on 17. I think we really did a very good job possibly estimating where the border is of the habitat on this side. Okay, if we got it right, since 17 was not in there, we definitely, and we had the border just past 17. So we actually had 17 outside of the habitat. Now we also have 18 inside the habitat. Well, so we'll see how good we are at, at figuring out the border of the habitat here. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. There they are. I mean, we exactly predicted where the edge of the habitat was over here. Exactly. Wow. Did you see that? Did you see that? Again. Again. Using only our sonar, we predicted exactly where the edge of the habitat was. Again. I mean, I just proved it to you. We laid down a whole string of nets here, and I predicted exactly right there where the edge of the habitat was in the first net we put down after the edge of the habitat. Nothing. Don't tell me. Don't tell me skill doesn't matter in this game. Don't tell me sonar is useless. It doesn't matter in this game. We just used our sonar now, so far, to predict the exact edge of this habitat going all the way around. We only got one more string of nets to go. And I'm guessing when we hit here and when we hear, it's gonna pan out the same way that these nets going past it are gonna be zero. And so far, like I said, just like from my previous test, every single net we've laid down that is within the confines of what we know is the habitat has pulled out fish. Every single net. We haven't pulled one single net out of this habitat yet that was empty. Every empty net we've pulled up has been outside of the boundaries of this habitat. Oh man, we went over. Uh oh. Uh oh, we've been messing around too much. We're starting to go over a little bit. Okay, that's gonna affect. That may just affect how much we catch on this line here. Uh, we estimated the edge of our habitat based off of sonar to be right here. So 41 should pick up fish. The 42, 43 should be dead unless we miscalculated on the edge here. There we go. First one was empty. Just as we predicted. And again, nothing. So, again, just like all the other times, we accurately predicted the edge 
of the uh, the edge of the habitat based on sonar. Now the edges here were all confirmed by sonar sightings. I think the only one was this one. We adjusted it slightly based off of the catch rather than the sonar. Okay, last thing I want to do now is <laughs> This was kind of a bonus right here. Okay, so we had the last string was actually almost entirely green except for one. So I want to get the average catch on the last string compared to the average catch of the other two strings. And I want to see if there's a noticeable difference there or not. I mean, like I said, I definitely notice a difference when it goes to orange and absolutely when it goes to red. When it goes to red, I just don't ever really catch anything. So it does appear as though the green nets yielded about 10% less catch than the blue nets did. So it does look like there is a correlation there. I can see a difference. So that's good to know. All right, folks, so there you have it right there. We just caught, well, we caught 192,000. So we used nothing but sonar and we predicted exactly where the habitat was, how big it was, and Every single net that we verifiably place outside of that habitat caught nothing. Also, the sonar was showing up nothing. When as soon as the sonar would pick up a cod and we knew we were inside the habitat, every single net we put down caught something. The only one that didn't was a net that we let go green. It was literally the only one out of like 35 or 38 nets that we placed within the confines of the habitat. My previous test, every net I pulled out was blue every night had a fish so if you let that thing go beyond glue blue then there is a chance that um, it might be an empty net also it looked as though there was about a 10 percent loss of fish going from blue to green what i would recommend is just fish your head some some of your habitats are going to start in medium in the beginning on the hard level what i recommend is you fish your medium ones and let the ones that are low work their way up to medium before you start fishing them. And then when they start getting high, I mean, that's just right here. I need to go lobster fishing. I got a high on this lobster right here. Oh, yeah. And I need to do some scallop fishing, obviously. Look at that. <laughs> All right, folks. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.